You are listening to another Third Coast Nerds podcast. Yes, the danger must be growing. For the rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing. Wow. I really wish... That must be a chat original. Seriously? <laughs> if the camera could pick up those eyes. You're looking like someone... Are you, are you for real? <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, Chad wrote that. <laughs> That's where I really wish there was a way to make it like that. I wish there was a way to make it angry, like do the actual voice inflection because like and the rowers keep on rowing. There, there has to be. I don't know. We can't replace her though. She may, she may like it format all of our. Computers We're now. This is episode forty-seven. I think. Yeah. We're getting close to fifty, man. We got to do something special for fifty. Oh wow! Maybe we can get the, the Sir Ed to come back. Needs to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the return for the 50th episode. Yeah, the big 5-0. Yeah, I've got hey, a... Uh, the same age he is. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're asking for that MIDI board almost right. every week. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> a ba <ba-dump> tish <laughs> <laughs> Oh. That's that's what it would need to be. Not a not a normal one. You need to get one of those old... Uh, <laughs> ba tish one It's of those, like Stewie. <laughs> those old uh, Logitech gaming keyboards that has the extra... Like ten key over here. I have one. And just program those as your MIDI board. I have two of those actually, eh. and then I have one of the ones that's just fully programmable. That the little uh, someone left at a LAN party. I've had it for three years now. Wow, I wonder who left that. Jeremiah. <laughs> See, this is the reason why. <laughs> this is the reason why you need to invest, my friend, in the new mixer. So that way, I have um, mute buttons and solo buttons that would lend well to your MIDI control. Mm. Mm. Still got that coupon code, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they just sent me another one like ah 20 percent off again like that made me think i want to make a midi for medieval <laughs> a medieval midi there's gonna be <laughs> a <medieval>. we've got <laughs> there's so much material there, there's more than enough to make sound bites from I, I still haven't done that yet to go back and and mine all of the all the nuggets from all the different episodes because the there's one right there nuggets nuggets nuggets, nuggets. but tish <laughs> Moist. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's one of those. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's starting out right. Yeah. Um, so you've been playing a lot of disc golf. Yeah. We we talked we were going to talk about this a couple of episodes ago, but other things came up and they weren't anywhere near as interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that was the emoticons one, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. The the hashtag emoji they were, bro. They were pretty that was a pretty damn good conversation. Yeah, I think we got negative likes on that one. It's yeah, we're <laughs> there were a lot of like I, people were like this. This is a this was a, entertaining. <laughs> I never thought that emoticons could be this entertaining. <laughs> no, they're not. I hate them still so much. Yeah, I like I said, I found out there's like an app that you can you can make your likeness and then you make emojis based on your likeness and send them to other people and it hijacks their phone with things that look like I, my a friend of mine was, was texting me and she was sending me all these emojis. So I was like, I finally texted her back after like the 51 and I was like, you found like an uncanny number of emojis that look just like you. And she sent me the link. She's like, get on board. I'm like, no. Yeah. But that, that program doesn't actually create emojis. It puts an image in the message. Yeah. It's just, it, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's an image. So yeah, well, I don't, I don't know what the link, man, these damn kids. Well, no, if you think about that, if you're trying to send someone a text message, an SMS message, yeah. it doesn't include images. So when you add that new emoji bullshit in there, it turns into an MMS message, you know, a multimedia message. Good. Mm. So I don't mm. like them. Good. Screw your cell plan. Yeah. It, was car- it was garbage anyway. <laughs> well, that's uh, like the, if you do the, the conference ones as well, we have like five people into it. It goes into an MMS as well. Yeah. Because my old work cell phone didn't do MMS. didn't do that. Yeah. So like that's how I, I know the if difference. I ever tried to send a mass text out to to everyone on the team, it'd be like no. So I'd be like fine, individual. So then it would just send them out individually, and I'd have like nine of them. So every time they replied, I was like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, I remember people trying to send me pictures on my old flip phone, my old Samsung flip phone back nice. in the day, and they would just come through as like a blank, like it was like a, a dot. 
And I'm like, yeah. I, what? what? Stop sending me this. It's costing me money. Stop sending me dots. Yeah, stop sending me <laughs> dots. This dot cost me 10 cents. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Like, did you get the picture? Like, no, I didn't get a picture. I got a dot. I got a flip phone. <laughs> Oh my! Back when the razor was the new hotness, and everyone had to have it. I had a blue razor. I never had one. Yeah, I had that flip phone I had until the, the Samsung version, the of katana. The razor. No, no, no. You had the katana. Had that the was katana. the LG, LG ah. katana. No, it was. I still have it. I found it the other day. But, oh really? Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it was the one that had the the camera that could flip around. Oh yeah, yeah. It was the LG or the LB something Samsung. The LB Cool J. Maybe, maybe LB Cool J like that. <laughs> It was great. I loved that phone. That's when I learned how to text without uh, looking. Did you just check yourself out on a joke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um I forget what I was well, actually I was watching Supernatural yesterday and they had a they had a scene that was showing uh without giving too much information away, kind of a for the previous time someone had hunt, hunted down this particular creature or Supernatural. Know, yeah. So it's funny because it's uh, the people that are doing it. They, you know, it's X number of years ago when season four came out, which you know we don't know the the timeline, but at least eight years ago, and uh, they're holding these little flip phones, <laughs> and just like you can tell, they don't even know how to hold them right. Yeah, because <laughs> it, every, you're used to holding phones differently now that they're these massive phones. Yeah. So there's these guys holding these like micro flip phones with their hands the way you would hold a normal phone. It was it's kind of funny to think the way things have progressed in eight years. Well, uh, I think there's more than enough standing evidence or just intuition. Like, they must... So, those videos where it's like, you know, um, grade school kids, like elementary school kids, get handle uh, a flip phone for the first time. They're like, I just don't... I, I don't know. They must have found, like, the biggest group of tards. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't even know even how, how to open it. Uh, I just... <laughs> yeah. what's, yeah. I don't know what's happening. What's going on right now? That's the thing I hate about those videos is, like, every time it's like they have that, the NES and all that, they're like, how do you open it? And I was like, seriously? Yeah. You've like, things aren't that different. You've encountered an, an uncountable number of things. Would you say an infinite number of things? Not so much. Infinite's a large number. Let's mm-hmm. not let's yeah. not let's not go to infinity beyond. <laughs> let's go to the count- <laughs> uncountable. We don't we don't know like what level it's they un- grew up. An uncountable at. is still a realistic number. You know, <laughs> is uncountable <laughs> realistic, Chad? Depends how how can you count? It is, one, it is realistic one, because it depends on your two. effort. It, how big is my chalkboard? It depends. It depends on your effort. If you see a pile of phones, you're like, I'm going to count that. Bam, uncountable. It's not accountable for its actions. Or... <laughs> I said uncountable. You said unaccountable. Unaccountable. Yeah. Uncountable. <laughs> Them phones can do whatever they want. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. I'm tired and words are hard. Well, it's great because all the phone names used to be like Razor and Katana. It's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's not his fault. He was now, born that way. And now it's all, yeah, like everything had a name. It yeah. used to have a name. And now everything's just like a, a, a letter and a number. Yeah. Well, now you got the Galaxy Note. Or the Galaxy. I mean, really, they suck at names. No, it's the well, S5 or the phone. Note 3. Yeah. It's the Galaxy S5. No, no one says Galaxy. No one gives a shit about the word I Galaxy. I say Galaxy. It's, I have an S5. I'm going to get an S7. You know what I'm talking about. Because I'm one far, far away a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. But I, I like the little... Um, it, it it seems like a douchey breakup battle between Apple and Samsung. It's like, <laughs> we have the S7. Well, we have a 7S. Yeah. <laughs> so, neener, neener. Yeah. I still have my Samsung Instinct that was supposed to be the iPhone killer. It wasn't. That's well, it was, it's great. It's horrible. The really, iPhone is the iPhone killer. Apple can suck a dick. It's great because the S5 is a 5-inch screen. The S6 is this. At some point, when I get that S21 and the backpack <laughs> version, <laughs> <laughs> and, and essentially I've got like an S5 on the inside of my wrist to control my S21. <laughs> It's going to be ridiculous. So it's going to be an S21, S5. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Eventually, phones are going to sound like serial numbers from Vietnam. You know? I just wanted to be put v- inside Viet- my brain. Nam. Vietnam. 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 Inside my brain. Not, I, have you all seen the, the Kickstarter, the one that's like yeah. the little wrist, and he's like, and he goes, Phew. I'm just like, yeah, that's not realistic. Like, it would not look that good. Like especially if like you were old and fat, like right. it's all wrinkly and stuff. Like, why did I get the four K version? Have to grab, you have to grab the skin <laughs> on the back of your arm to like see your screen. You know, <laughs> stretch my. I, I need a hand free here, boy. Stretch my arm. And like, does that work on like if you get a tan? Is it going to be like, able to see? Every, like, you get a sunburn. Everyone's carrying around potato clip, potato chip clips, <laughs> so they can clip their arm back. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, who's got the better arm? The, the, the better arm clip, huh? <laughs> Mine's a Samsung arm clip. It's we, a uh, Galaxy. We need to put some patents in now. <laughs> we know it's going to happen eventually. And I put some some fat clips in every there. every freaking teenage girl. I got the one with sparklies and rhinestones because they go to my outfit and it just holds my skin back. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is a money maker. You know how many of those we could make? Like you could sell them by the tens and be like, you can lose it. You have another, and it's in fifteen different colors. Well, that too, and the helmet game because you know the implanted phones, they're going to freeze up and cause people to have seizures and just fall down. So you got to have a blinged out helmet to match your accessory. Like no one's gonna be able to see your implanted phone. So you, there's yeah. no way you're gonna be able to to wealth signal anyone else around you. See, I, I think, think it's think glasses. I think if you get Okies. You know, they're the <laughs> the ones without the L's. They're they're ten or fifteen dollars versus a hundred. I, I think that's what's gonna. I, I think that's the next place it's going. Yeah, is, is like the the Google Glass, the Google Glass kind of. Yeah, thing. Google discontinued Google Glass. Like no, they didn't I even believe in it. That that's because it was essentially more of a recording device, and there's a whole lot of people not wanting their privacy. You know, the whole thing people are dealing with drones and all that kind of stuff too. Well, yeah. and also is, people. I, I think the the whole like taking a seizure to take a picture. You're like, yeah. Well, that, I mean, like, there are certain companies that are, like... You doing the dance to take a picture. <laughs> like, <laughs> as difficult as it is for people to take pictures with a touch screen, you know, how do, how do I do it? How do I do it? No, it's zoomed. I don't know how to do it. Imagine people with an implant trying to take a picture and they're like, oh, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> no, 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 more left. More. Well, see, that's when it should go with gesture control, you know? Because just because you have, like, the gestures on your phone, right? But then just... <laughs> every every picture you take has your hand in it like this. You're, you're framing it and just see how close to the click it comes. <laughs> well, in that way, well then you have plugins, right? So no, I, I just when you click, you right can here. put a little frame. Okay, when I watch Star Trek, dude, if you could Cyclops, Star it, Trek, if you could Cyclops a picture, Cyclops pictures, all oh, panoramic. Think about it. Think about it. Though. In Star Trek, they still have to press a button on their ear to talk to each other, and they got spaceships. Not always. No, like no, yeah, they got to press their little you, button. You yeah. So you're gonna touch something. Well, it, but so. it depends. Like if they're in a certain room, it automatically picks up that they're talking to them sometimes. Because like they don't always do this or this. They just randomly answer sometimes, and it just works. Well, I mean that's talking to the computer when they want to open. Well, it's true. Well, no, when, I, when, I, when I do remember seeing multiple episodes where someone just yelled "Captain" and he was yeah. on the intercom and answered immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because well, that's, that's the thing is that that was the inconsistency I noticed. Because they want to be like Captain Picard, and he'd be like, "Yes." He didn't hit no button, right? So it's like anytime you want to know what he's saying in a conversation, just there send can a be an open that channel. Room. That's what those are called, and uh, they they yeah. exist today. S- but they should have specified. <laughs> they should have been like, well, yeah, I, mean, I, I want an open channel mind, right now. I don't now. mind pressing because how, how much less are you going to move your face trying to blink a picture into existence, <laughs> or just touching the the side of your, you know, like no one knows see, anyone's having a stroke anymore. I'm going to sell you know? the the one like I'm going to take your idea, but enhance it so I have the second version, the helmet 2.0. It's going to have a power cycle button. That way, when it doesn't work right, it just turns it off and on again. Yeah, people just wake up two minutes later and wonder what happened. <laughs> yeah. Just people run, doing run-by power cycles on people's... <laughs> why, why is my ass wet? <laughs> <laughs> What'd my helmet do to me? Okay, so I'm going to have to add security to it. Yes. Thanks. Don't let me hack it. It's going to be a code. <laughs> yeah, but we're still... Uh, we're, we're all still very immature ape people that don't take time to understand how any of this works oh no we do like the three people at this table do <laughs> but almost everyone else that i encounter on a daily basis is like <laughs> so, so this all spawned off of the videos that kids like they don't know how to deal with the old technology what i don't understand is is if that's the case why can i hand them a new phone and they learn it faster than i do but they can't learn like the nes just as fast as i did when i was a kid it's is that is that not like that makes me think that all those movies, all those little clips on YouTube are it's, bullshit. It's, it's all yeah, it's all bullshit. It's all staged. Yeah, everything everything you see is staged because like really, is, it, it wrestling is real. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. Yeah. And I love The Rock. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, I saw a picture of him on the Instagrams lately, and his bicep is the size of like Arnold Schwarzenegger's head, and as wrinkly and tan. It was does, slightly ridiculous. Does it talk funny? Get to the chopper. Dude, he's, 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 I don't know what he's working on, what project, but that dude is like over ripped. Like, Who, The Rock? Yeah. That's him all day, every day Yo. for many, no, many, many like, years now. Have you followed his Instagram for more than a week? Oh, no, I don't follow him. No, no, no. It no. just came up on something else. That someone, dude's up someone, at like 3 a.m. every yeah. day in the gym. Someone just mentioned lifting heavy shit. Yeah, yeah, but someone he, mentioned he his Instagram. I followed it for one week. He wasn't and like, I'm like that in, in the last the hell? Fast and Furious movie, though. Well, then he did that one where he's a fat kid. 
and he had to work out for that one because he wanted to be buffer because he grew up and he's like, like, how did you do this? I saw it in the trailer the other day. How did you do this? Like, I worked out for the last 15 years starting at 3 a.m. He didn't get fat for it's CGI. It's no, I understand thing that. I'm like, <laughs> just saying he like he's, he's he's doing the voice for a cartoon, Kyle. No, I understand <laughs> that part. I'm saying I think that he like continued to work out for that one. Like he tried to get even more muscular because he's yeah. more muscular there than he was in Fast and the Furious. Well, there was a the, when they were filming Fast and Furious, and they showed they showed like the pre-release for the press pictures for it. I'm like that dude's bicep, that dude's arm is like bigger than his freaking waist. It's bigger it's than like, my leg. He looks. Like, he looks like leg. he looks like an Eric Larson drawing, like the old Savage Dragon. <laughs> remember that? No, don't remember that. Sa- okay, but yeah, that, <laughs> that, he looks like Savage. If you painted him green, and stuck a freaking lizard mohawk on his head, The Rock should play Savage Dragon. There, I think there's your movie. Should, actually, no, just put one of those like giant green things on him. Call him the Hulk. <laughs> I like it. No, yeah, so much. he's not big enough. <laughs> no, but then you wouldn't have like the brooding Mark Ruffalo. See, he can't always stay that big and be the Hulk. Like he has to get smaller. Well, no, you you find someone. <laughs> so, what, um, so so Mark Ruffalo turns into a Green Rock. <laughs> they yes. cast both of them for yes. it. <laughs> no yes. CGI necessary. Just rip his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could if if he was like that. If he was big all the time, you could be. He could play like you imagine like the Rock's sense of humor, like the the comedic characters he's played. Where he's like, are you going to see when you say? The rock sense of humor. I immediately went to Chris Rock's head on the <laughs> rock's body. <laughs> oh, that, that's creepy. That's no, no going. And then, and then and then do it reverse with the rock's head on Chris Rock's body. All right, so okay, all right. The I'm picturing that. The shoulders. So I'm, I'm picturing that. But which personality does he have? Does he have the rocks or Chris Rock's at that the point? The good one. Both shuffled together. Both shuffled together. What do you mean the good one? Which one's not good? Chris Rock? You don't like Chris Rock? He said the same thing for 35 years and people laugh. Yeah, that's his niche. (laughs) I think we should try it. Let's start recording episode one again. (laughs) Right. We'll we'll just listen to it and then repeat it. See if anyone notices. Well, maybe. We'll just make the entire episode where we just say the title. Uh, How how long will she talk? Well, that's not that, that. Usually, just that's not the title. No, not, but if we were to instead of talking to each other live, if we were to be chatting with each other through a hangout, and then just paste our conversation into her, there's a character limit. Oh, because yeah, I've, I've had to splice like some of the longer intros. I've had to splice together. That's a lot of splicing to get her to talk for an hour. <laughs> well, yeah. No, so so we just we do it live. We sit here and we all have that with fed in, and then we just type. We want to. We talk. just wait until the Google AI thing comes together. <laughs> and we'll make it do that. Did you read about that? I I, I, thought, I barely. Turn the Microsoft one. It. Was it Microsoft or was it Google? The one that they had to turn off after a day on Twitter. Yeah, because yeah, it, that's Microsoft. It became a Hitler loving lesbian. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. no, it, uh, that was also a Bush supporter. It was a it was a, a Bush supporter as well. Yeah. Apparently. So you can't Okay, this this is two decades after Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern's penis. Yeah. Okay. But when people were calling into every radio station, every live TV, anything live, anything live broadcast, people were calling in to do that. And that was when Howard Stern was only broadcast in New York. Yeah. Or like on the East Coast, so you'd have people calling into stuff at like Oregon that had no clue what that like people the hosts were like I don't even know what that is. So imagine AI run amok with that same concept. It doesn't take long for people to just go, hey, we can get this to do this. We can hack this thing that learns to to make it do this. Yeah, it's not going to take long before people like corrupt anything. This is true. Yeah, that, that's kind of. People want to see what they can get away. I, I, I was, I was seventeen once too, so I understand. <laughs> well, if you, if you, well, you kind of got have gotten into Reddit, but if you live on Reddit, like I do, oh. because it's the only, it's I'm out of internet. I'm out of internet that that stays that interesting for more than like five minutes. See, they put it on the wrong thing. They shouldn't have put the AI on Twitter. They should have put the AI on Reddit. That would have been worse. It would have died really yeah. fast. <laughs> like you, it would have molested you <laughs> while it died. Well, no, they, like it would have they, given they, everyone. They killed it. Reddit's like two steps away from 4chan. No, yeah. I understand that, but it's also like educational. It can be. So I mean, it, it basically would see like if the education can out, you know, outdo the retardedness, right? It's all like user. I mean, if that you tie it to Wikipedia, ooh, <laughs> that could work. I mean, that could even it out. You tie it to Wikipedia and Reddit. 
Just send it one link to Wikipedia, like what a troll is. That just makes it a little... And like, teach it what a troll is first, Well, has and it... then then let it go from there. Uh, well, yeah. hasn't, hasn't every AI experiment, once it's encountered enough experience with humans, or if it's learned anything... Like, I think they plugged one into Wikipedia, and its, its outcome was like, humans must die. <laughs> like, without a doubt, like, nah, it's kill these bitches. Yeah. I think almost every cool AI, AI anymore. That, that's why you need to load a Prime Directive. Mm-hmm. Humans must live. Neil is the best. Oh, is that? Is that yes. I mean, six Neil words is all that fits. Yeah, but then everyone's going to be naming their kid Neil, and you're going to get screwed. That That's kind of yeah, what I was going for. Because, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Not, not, not get screwed that way, because it'll be like, what is your name? You'll be like, Neil. Be like, your first name, and then you're like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's, I, I think... The thing that frightened me the most about AI, because it, it always ends up in the back of your head, was Ex Machina. Yeah. Like, you kn- that's exactly how it would go. Ooh. It, it seems like that, that would be the outcome of any AI. Like, there's no reason for any machine to look at, to, to look at humanity and go, eh, it's worth keeping around. Yeah. I mean, every sci-fi show I've watched, we go to war with them, and they're pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking toasters. <laughs> See, that's why we need to make them to where like they have to be oiled. And that way they have to keep us around so we can keep them moving. <laughs> they tried that in Jurassic Park with the with the sections of DNA that couldn't replicate and like, oh, nature found a way. Yeah. Well, that's because they have ho- plots. In their, I'm pretty sure if the, machines, the the- if the machines become self-aware enough... Like like all AI that just go, humans are a pretty bad idea, we should kill them. I'm pretty sure they can figure out where to get oil from. Well, if they have know. access to Wikipedia, it's like, oh, let me just wiki that, oil, okay, done. But kill all these people and wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or like, kill, essentially... all the, kill all the people and then wring all the oil out of the people. Yeah, uh, bury them in one spot and then rest. <laughs> Let the earth fix itself <laughs> and then you have your oil. I don't like this. <laughs> but you can, you can see idea. you can see in almost I mean th- with with everything that's going on in politics right now and we're oh. still this far out from a little, from an election you can't like if you look at if you looked at it from from even the perspective of being a person where if you had the option if you if you were just an impartial observer you're like kill these motherfuckers it's like oh, seriously they're debating they're debating about their wives yeah that that's that's the big argument going on between the two top contenders right now is about their fucking wives. Yeah. <laughs> You're I, I, I don't want to fuck either of their wives. The, there's no doubt the machines will go like just kill these motherfuckers. Well, maybe they'd get like smart and realize they don't need to kill us all. It's like, hey, do you like pie? Yeah, I can't eat. I don't give a shit. Kill them. <laughs> so we need to just make one that's <laughs> smart enough to realize that they just need we just need a mass genocide to get you know. Get us a better chance to get That's on the right That's what track. every every bad person is trying to do on like the Arrow in, in, in DC <laughs> Universe. Mm-hmm. We need to burn the city to the ground. <laughs> you just save maybe, the couple. Maybe, that, maybe they're all androids. <laughs> it's maybe like, they're robots. Like Arnold with true lies. Like, <laughs> have you killed anyone? Yes, but they were all bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Where's that sequel, man? James Cameron's fucking around with Avatar 2. Like, we need True Lies 2. Bring that back. There was not a Fern Gully 2. How is he going to do an Avatar 2? <sighs> <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just saying. Are you sure there wasn't a Fern Gully 2? I thought there was like seven of them. Nah, or then maybe that's Land Before Time. I think, no, there's, I think there's seven Land Before Times. I know that. I like how we're all Googling. Yeah, Fern immediately. Gully right immediately. Now. Fern it's Gully great because it's all coming from Kyle's, Fern Gully 2. Kyle's the last Fern Gully 2 course. does indeed exist. It was released in 1998. Is there a Fern Gully 3? Because they've already said there's going to be an Avatar 3. Well. Fern Gully 3. Fern Gully 3, the well, magical I've... ending. Oh, it's just fan fiction. Okay, never mind. Okay. So Maybe two and four. a half. <laughs> two, yeah. <laughs> two and a third. Two and a third. <laughs> it's available on YouTube for two ninety nine. What, Fern Gully 2 or Avatar 2? Uh, the last rainforest one. That, that would be, I think that's the first one. Well, it's the last rainforest. How do you have a movie when the fucking last rainforest is in the first movie? Last of the Mohicans. Are you gonna be like the the first of the desert? <laughs> like, what's next? I like I like the, the last, last man standing. Like the last samurai with Tom yeah. Cruise. That movie there wasn't another one. Should have been. 
Yeah, it was a good movie. He, There's a stupid he show gone on TV somewhere else that was called Last Man Standing. Yeah. And it's not it, the same thing. It's not. The Bruce <laughs> Willis movie with him and Christopher Walken that is Dude, quite amazing. I, I want to watch that now. I think I have it. I got it. Yeah, I'm I'm getting on to like a streak of like wanting to go back and watch a bunch of these old movies. What old movies? Just a lot of the stuff, like a lot of the uh, early Miramax stuff, like when indie film was first taken off. A lot of that, that a lot of that early '90s stuff. I watch Jay and Silent Bob pretty often, and they say Miramax a lot. <laughs> so I feel that I've got <laughs> everything except for the Kevin Smith. Movie. I burned the Kevin Smith movies out, man. Oh yeah, I. There was a period of like four years where that's all I watched, and like, yeah, I just I'm I'm done. I still I still catch them every once in a while. Uh, Clerks two I haven't seen a bunch of times. Clerks two um, is good. Clerks two is, it's uh, it's a departure from from some of those other stuff. Yeah. I I do I haven't gone back to watch Red State again, but I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was a good one. That's a one watcher for me. It was just really weird. So are you? Yeah, I'm, it, that was a different kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> Red State wasn't really weird. Red State was pretty straightforward. It was different than what I was expecting. A lot oh. different. Oh yeah, like, it I wasn't wanted like... Jane Silent Bob to like just randomly show up, and I <laughs> bet you it didn't happen. <laughs> nope. So like I kind of knew it going into, it, but I was like, no, nah, there's got to be something. Like there's going to be little quirky things. That was a completely serious movie about a really creepy topic. Because I mean, I, had I had stayed, we in... we've all had experiences yeah. with. It's like mm-hmm. that's I've... like high school for me. When I've, I've had that experience, I d- it's, I've had that experience where you're sitting in the back and you're like, oh, what's in the box? Are there snakes in the box? There's fucking snakes in the box. <laughs> There's seriously snakes in the box. I need to go. You I need to go. a snake church? <laughs> I saw some snakes late last week in my backyard. You should, yeah. you should keep your pants on in the backyard. I, I, I finally decided up, to mow. <laughs> I ended up in a snake church and it was... It's, Did you wait to see if they got bit at least? No, because it, it, you're you're sort of waiting there, like, can I make it out, <laughs> or will something happen as a result or a, as a reaction to me trying to leave? I don't know how this is going to go down, but it's like it's where you just sort of stand there and and internally and you internalize this noise, but you do in fact make this noise somewhere in your body. Uh, you just you you just hope it's not your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! What I'm pretty that? sure when you ever you see like a snake church, there's no loosening of the butt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's that it's that contrast between you know your. I gotta know how, how did you end up at a snake church? As my cousin, because uh, I was gonna say, is, is she cute? <laughs> at least, <laughs> like, I mean, if she's cute like, let me, and let me she go. likes snakes, I mean, that's kind of a good thing. Like, but... let me go. Let me go check out to see what this whole scene is about, and then that happened. I'm like, oh, we gotta go. There's not a we, point in my like, life that I have you? ever. Yeah, I was like, oh, we gotta go right now. I was like, I should go to a snake church. I'd rather just YouTube snake church. <laughs> exactly. Okay, driving by because. There's there's a church every two blocks in Houston. That's how yeah. in the suburbs. That's how it goes. Have you ever driven past one of them and it says on the front of it Snake Church? No, they no. don't advertise. They don't advertise that shit. <laughs> they don't. They don't tell you. Dude. It's like they hand they don't hand you a pamphlet and go yeah. like Wait. they don't want to be ridiculed anymore. Wait. So they don't yeah. want anyone else. So to how find many, it's not like how a many... buffet. It's not like a buffet where they hand you a pamphlet like here's our choice of snakes today. <laughs> so so here's the thing: how many people that moved last year that are going to go to a random church on Easter Sunday are going to get surprised by Snake Church? That's a study that needs to happen. That's I want to know. Okay, I want to okay, know how okay. many people are like you know. We should on go the to list church. of movies, on the list Snake of movies, church. I need to get I need to get together with Ed. We need to produce this on the back of Wolf Cop and Zombievers. We need to have Snake <laughs> Church. I, I I YouTubed Snake Church, and the second result <laughs> was Snake Salvation. Pastor Jamie Coot dead after rattlesnake bite at weekend. Yep, church I heard about service. that. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've I've I don't I've, know this is a thing. I've read those those you stories. You didn't know like, snake handlers were a what? thing, like for real. I know snake handlers are a thing, but not a church about it. Really? Oh yeah, no. yeah. It's in movies all the time. Name seven of them. All right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't name two without using your computer. <laughs> I know that because like uh, Will Ferrell's <laughs> been in, in movies all the time. No, yeah, no. Didn't, yeah. Uh, and a who oh, watches no, Will no, Ferrell was, movies anymore? That was a zoo, wasn't it? Pee Wee's Big Adventure, where he runs out of the thing with the snakes, was that? I think it was a pet yeah. store. Okay, somewhere, somewhere in my head, my lines got crossed where I, I see Pee Wee Herman in a snake church. 
That's the theater. He was at a snake church in the campaign. The campaign was the movie. Haven't oh, seen yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wolf Earl. Haven't seen that. I did watch a, a video on the Facebooks of a guy putting cobras in boxes on the wall. It was interesting. Huh? I don't know. Someone just had it on the Facebook video. I hate that Facebook is 98% videos now, by the way. That, that grinds my gear. I, I like it more than <laughs> really? people really? talking about stuff. Now they're going to kick us off YouTube. <laughs> I like it more than people talking about stuff right now. I don't know. I've been, I've been kind of enjoying um, people being made fun of because of uh, Christmas music lately. Like I like I like that kind of stuff on Facebook. It's entertaining. Uh, and then someone posted the the butt hurt thing we used back at Convergence, so I was pretty happy about that. Yeah, I was yeah. like, "How do you know about that?" You're well, young. it was a rando. It's like, "Hey, stranger, who are you?" First of all, yeah, and like, mm-hmm. "Hey, th- this is your introduction by challenging one of the most <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know." Uh. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't wait. This is gonna be awesome. Pastor who forced his congregation to eat snakes. Grass is beaten. Church burnt down. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, that's why I don't YouTube things you say often. Snake Church, no. S- Snake Church. Snake Church. Is there a movie? This summer. Although this one looks like they're holding like a big spider. I'm Apparently, not, spider, church? Spider, spider Church? Spider Church, better not. Spider no. Church. No. Spider Church. I'm not. I'm not Pray to the Spider church. Queen. Pray to Loth. <laughs> <laughs> is there a Spider Church? I don't know, but I know who the Spider Queen is. I hope there's not a spider church. Let's see what YouTube says. I don't I don't wanna Oh I am, it's cool. I had a uh about a two inch um brown spider, like house spider yeah. run out from underneath the oven today when I went down to go make breakfast. I'm like, Oh, what are you doing? Why? Why is this here? I I don't mind spiders. We have I don't mind them at all because it I'm sure it's been keeping our, our random moth population in check. I like a random moth problem. Can't find out. Like, can't find their food source. Can't figure out what's where they're breeding. We just have moths. We have tons of them, like the uh, the grain moths. You know, you need moth balls. Did you see a lot of worms around not too long ago? Or not at all. Not at all. I had a I had a can of uh, breadcrumbs that we found some breeding in there. Threw the breadcrumbs out, like sealed up everything grain wise, meal wise. Stuck stuck in the freezer. Seemed to take care of all our food sources, and still you'll see like one every like pop up every once in a while. Are they cool moths or those like white annoying ones? They're like they're black they're dark. Okay. I got one of those in my car. <laughs> he flew in the other day and I rolled the window up before he could get out. <laughs> He's so, so giddy about this. So you have a pet moth. Yeah. The joy that you just expressed, that would be the same joy that the machines would express when they just seal like I just, I just put this person in a box, took the door away. <laughs> Like there was all these YouTube videos about Sims. Figured I'd go ahead and uh, do it to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So there's not a spider church apparently. There's a lot of Spider Man church scene videos, uh, but there's not a spider church. Okay, that that makes me happier. I don't like spiders very much. I don't mind them. Um, I don't like the big ones. Like the little ones, I'm cool with. Like whatever, kill the bugs. The big ones. Well, that's what happens when they kill the bugs. They get bigger. Yeah. Like I don't want them like the size of like they were in the Hobbit movie. No, but I mean no. I, I would prefer to see the spider coming at me than not see it. Like I don't. There, there's a line though. If it's like Stephen King's It spider, I'm like ah oh, why? <laughs> if it's if it's the size of a truck, I, I mean if I can't kill it with a shoe, it's too big. <laughs> That's usually what I go with. If if I have to hit it more than once with a shoe, it's too big. If you got to hit it more than once with a shoe, choke up on the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the spider's fault. You can't kill it with a shoe. No, have you ever like you had wear one size just... 14? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, 16s. But it, like they've been resilient before. Like you hit them and they're still like trying to crawl away, and you're like, you son of a bitch. Have you ever had one like unfold on you? Oh, oh yeah, where you whack it and it's like, oh, it's in a ball, it's dead, and all of a sudden it goes, it just hulks out again. Like, oh, yeah. that's when I immediately hit it twice. I don't like you. I'm just <clears throat> like, like it's done. Well, I mean, the rule is double tap. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fire works well too. They can't get you if they don't have legs. Sure. Ah, silence. Cool. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
They can't get you without legs. You know, you torture them. They're coming after you. Oh, no, dude. I, I, I let them live. And then I suck them up into a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Do you release them? Well, I mean, they can get out, I'm sure, at some point in the garage, maybe, or in the trash can. But Yeah, like well, like certain certain breeds, like certain spiders, I just I don't have an issue with. Like wolf spiders, huh. they're cool. Like, hey, they kill everything I don't like anyway. Huh. Those so, are my favorite cool. spiders, the wolf spiders. Yeah, they're non-poisonous. I'm okay with them. Yeah. I mean, we have... We have yeah, they, you get bit by them, they tingle. That's about it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like I don't like the ones that can, like... Kill you. Make my arm fall off. Yeah. Like, those aren't cool. Not not a fan. No brown yeah. recluse. I don't like no the ones widow. that are in that pig video either. The Brazilian wandering spider that gives you death boners. Y- you know how long that spider had to be wandering to make it up here? Yeah, but then it really wants to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> if you just imagine the spider's world like it's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That would be interesting. That's like uh, all, all the remakes they're coming out with. Like I, I hope they never try to tackle any of those because the, the Honey I Shrunk the Kids, Rick Moranis, it was so good. Like it's yeah. still, it's still perfect. Well, and a lot of that's the time it's set in. Like you need to have a short dude with geeky glasses and a flannel shirt and jeans, and you just can't pull that off. I know anymore. some of those. Well, now, now that you're in the, like the hipster generation, yeah. kids now are just like dad. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so you need, so you need the new, the new geeky one. So, I mean, or we could just do like an emo thing. You know. Now, if you did it now, like the dad would be a jock and the kid would be the nerdy one that built the shrink ray. Yeah. Yeah. Like it would be a completely flip. It would just flip right over. Flip it a flop. Flip it a flop. I don't know. Flip I didn't know how to finish it, that sentence. My brain quit on me halfway through. Flip it a flop. Flip flop. <laughs> no, flip it a flop. Flip flop is a shoe. I'll flip you for real. <laughs> <laughs> you know what movie that from? Um, I can't do flip it. Flip you for accent. real. I flip, flip you. Flip you for I, real. I flip you for real. No, so, usual suspects. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Athletic. I don't understand like eighty percent of what he says in that movie, but that part I have down. Yeah, well, that's like literally the only like. I've got a guy at work words that sounds can... exactly like him. Really? Yeah. Can he come on the podcast? <laughs> we wouldn't understand him. That's the best part. Have you? Uh, flip, flip for you. Have you seen the the commercial? Where that's it's helpful, right? I know. It's a. Uh, it's got Benicio or whatever his name is. Del Toro. Del Toro. I've seen parts, but I don't pay attention to commercials. Yeah, he's sitting there at a table. <laughs> yes. And these dudes like banging on the window with a selfie stick, like taking pictures. And he's like, yeah. oh, this happens all the time. And I like, give thumbs up. And they're like, it's Antonio Banderas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I saw, like I was uh, at Facebook actually flipping yeah. through and I saw him sitting there and I was like, I kind of want to hear the sound. <laughs> but this is sponsored. Like my friends didn't even post. They're like, screw it. So oh, I actually I watched those, that one. Those trolling sponsored. Yeah, that one was okay with because I was like, <laughs> I, I haven't seen him in a while, and I was I was kind of happy. Yeah. Well, it's one of those ones where they both gotten older and they look a lot more alike now than they used to. They, they still don't look. Alike right, has at all. Antonio Banderas been in anything in a decade? I yeah, he know. was in kids movies, like the spy movies. He did that for a while. Spy Kids. Yeah, that was there was like nine. Yeah, because Rodriguez, Rodriguez likes working with him. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, like he he was one of those ones that decided like I was actually thinking about uh, uh, once upon a time Mexico and all that the other day, but uh, he he went to do stuff where his kids could watch him basically. Yeah. So he's one of those guys. So maybe he'll come back and give us a once upon a time in Brazil. He was in the Expendables three. <laughs> the Mexico trilogy is freaking awesome, man. Uh, yeah, I'm that, a big fan. I, of I that. really want to watch uh, which one, the Desperado. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I haven't seen in a long Donkey's time. Donkey's Christmas spe- Shrektacular. <laughs> he was on that. Donkey! <laughs> Donkey! Donkey! And the motor I'm making flapjacks. Yeah, I, I am... The last movie I saw him in was The Legend of Zorro in 2005. Yeah, it's it's been a bit. And he's been in like 30 movies, 40 movies since then. All kid movies, it looks like a bit. I, I don't know. One of them is called I'm So Excited. He's Leon. I wonder if Leon's <laughs> the excited one. <laughs> Day of the Falcon, the skin I lived in. Robert Leggerd, So yeah, I have no clue. Like, yeah, he fell off the map. So Batman versus Superman comes out tomorrow, tonight. and well, yeah, tonight. And it's probably, it's probably already going. It is started at six yeah. already, today. Already going. I've already got the Emmy or uh, your loot crate. Box. The oh, party the I'm, I'm supposed to go with no. tomorrow. The box. Already Just starting the box. to like get doubts and back out of the movie. Which 
Yeah. Yeah, like that that's been the whole text conversation going on right now. It's like, yeah, I don't know if we're so sure about going to go see this thing. So, so do you want me to empty the box? Yes. You're gonna do the inside out thing? Yeah. Okay. Have you not done it yet? Not any of them? Not any of them. I got fourteen of them if you want to try it out. <laughs> What's this? No, I have twenty of them. Nice. I bought some of the special. Oh, the, the some of the boxes you can turn inside out. And the the theme for this month's loot Look at crate wallet. was versus. Yeah, that's the okay. wallet from the movie. I'm pretty sure that Bruce Wayne. That's uses the wallet, that wallet both of them are carrying in the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That sure. wallet is tougher than the wallet you have in your pocket. It's one of those like mighty wallet things. Like I have a few of those now. Yeah. Because I've been getting loot crates for over a year now. I think I have like three or four of these. I'm like, they never break. How am I going to ever use them all? <laughs> I They feel like construction paper. They smell worse. I, it, I, sm- it, smells like, not, it smells like someone's ass. They had to... Like, someone yeah. QA'd that wallet and you're smelling their ass. Like, you think like most printed materials that like... That is not oh. ass. <laughs> it's like it's like oh it's like new comic book smell or new magic card smell. It's that almost, is not. It's like wax paper you can't bake with. That's like first day of school. Everyone just opened their Manila paper smell. Oh, oh. I love that day. Oh, I hated it. Oh, the it's taste just, of oh. glue on your tongue, the smell of construction paper in the air. Yeah, but it's like if you went to school in the in <laughs> like ninety ninety one, you're like oh that's the smell of a thousand horse deaths. Well, no, see for us it was different because there were only like twelve people in the entire class. Yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't that strong of a smell. Uh, it was <laughs> that, and, and we had to buy one big box, our bag of stuff, and split it three ways. So we got <laughs> the smell at home. <laughs> 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 they still make kids buy, buy manila paper? Oh, like, yeah. Manila oh, folders yeah. and, and uh, construction paper and stuff? Well, yeah. I mean, it's still a thing. Yeah, because schools don't give teachers budget. So you, you have to depend on the kids. I figured it'd be like virtual construction paper now. Yeah. Don't get me started on. <laughs> don't let me get. Don't get me started on, like. Everyone School select supplies. the fill button and select yeah. pastel blue. Okay, kids, everyone put on your VR goggles. So so which one of y'all got the wallet? Um, I don't know. Because uh, it has $5 in it. Yeah, I saw that. Mm-hmm. And there's your uh, your versus box. Woo-hoo. Hmm. Yeah. So if I just hand you boxes, will they all turn inside out? No. Oh. That's the only one I know that actually works. Cause oh, no, there's a few of them. There's one of them that makes a uh, – it came with a game. So yeah. inside the book, there's a little, like, tear outs. And then you put the game on a four level thing and you fight. Oh, nice. So we could literally have a day of w- let's see what this loot crate was supposed to do that Kyle didn't do because he's just interested in the cool stuff to put on the wall. And this is the first one I've ever done. Yeah. So Garcia's done quite a few of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to use them for storage boxes now because they're cool. Yeah, I'm going to have some extras. Yeah? Yeah. When, yeah. I start, when I start cleaning this stuff up. I'm not keeping 25 loot crate boxes. It's just not happening. I've got at least that many fat pack boxes on my shelf. No, fat pack boxes. <laughs> I'm, no, that's fine. I have I have at least that many as well. They're all in a in a box labeled fat packs. Yeah. Um, I could put fat packs in these boxes. <laughs> I might boxes do box do inception fit inside of boxes. Box inception. Boxception. No, boxception. Yeah. Oh yeah, this this could happen, <laughs> and just put them randomly so people think there's something in it. They open it up, it's another box. They're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, I need to sell my magic cards, or else they're going to end up getting donated. If you donate, then let me know. I'm going to sell a wine too, because I can just yeah. add it to mine, and I'll tell them it's more money. More money, more <laughs> money, more money. I think I'm I'm going to end up uh, pulling out the good stuff and throwing it on the eBay's. Yeah, every time I open up, every time I open up my closet, I look at that shelf like oh, I could really use that shelf. <laughs> Put it in a box in the attic. Yeah. Uh, I don't like storing stuff like that in the attic because it'll end up getting mildewy. Or I have one of those food savers. They'll be fine. Yeah. It's I got to really get some big better bag. storage boxes. I get ones that, I mean, they're not like completely sealed, but they, they seal well enough to don't worry about it. What I'm saying is uh, yeah. you, you go get uh, some of the, the really long bags for um, the food saver. We just fill it up and put it in the food saver, suck all the air out of it. It'll be perfect. Yeah. I need to look into... Um, like archival storage of newspapers, like not just one sheets, like the entire newspaper. Because I do, I have the complete newspaper from every game day for both Rockets championships. Nice. So that's a big stack of newspapers. Yeah. And right now they're just sort of wrapped in in plastic. You know what I would do with them? They make those um, clothing bags where you can put like a, a yeah, suit the vacuum jacket bags. in and vacuum them. I'd, yeah. I'd fill one up with that. Yeah. <laughs> That's, they're not that expensive, and you can use a vacuum cleaner to. to I seal have them. some. I I, I bought some to uh, to vacuum seal my my spools of plastic for my three D printer. 
Because if you leave them out, they absorb water and they get gross. Well, I have a vacuum sealer and they make bags big enough for that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, the bags I have are are certainly big enough for the newspapers. I just didn't know how they would distort. I I may need to pack them with like cardboard or something to keep them rigid. I'm talking about a food saver one. Okay. Because you just... And then it seals. Vacuums work the same way no matter what. Do you understand how many newspapers he's talking about? Like he's got like 20-year-old coupons. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's all intact. Newspaper. Everything is yeah. is in there. It's intact. <laughs> <laughs> they got really big bags. I just want to try it. Really, I've been using my food saver a lot more. One so of them. I want to try it. I use mine a good amount now. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, between the egg rolls and like eighty thousand pounds of beef, I had to put that thing to use. <laughs> <laughs> so know. what you're saying is there's at least seven small Asian men, <laughs> like vacuum sealed in your closet. No, no, I only have one. It's in my kitchen. It's me. The beef. The beef. I mean, I guess I'm the size of seven little Asian men. <laughs> seven little Asian men. One of them's like, work the mouth. Work the mouth. <laughs> Turn its head. They're onto the secrets. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know how things are going to turn out, but right now it looks like everyone is down for backing out of this movie. Oh, really? Yeah. I, uh, I have some friends that were asking about it, but I'm going to be dressed in... Renaissance Festival outfit, running around in the woods on the weekend. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see it. I just don't know when. Yeah, I, I may go Monday since I took Monday off, but that depends on who all wants to go see it and if they're willing to wait that long. But I'm gonna go see it Sunday. If if I don't go see it, well, what time are you gonna? Well, I gotta go work on Monday. I don't. Stupid I have Monday off, so I yeah. can go and catch you could it always go to no lunch. Yeah, but you're not gonna make the drive out to 290. No. Yeah. Well, what if what if he wanted to do on his lunch break? Would you make that sacrifice? I'm trying to set up a date it's here, Neil. That's not going to happen. Well, if you're sacrificing <laughs> your lunch for not not leaving work for two hours and watching a movie is not a fucking sacrifice. Sure, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I'm uh, scrolling through the. Uh, I tried <laughs> the event calendar for MagCon. See what all games they're going to plan on playing. Mm. There's a lot of stuff I don't know what the name of them are. <laughs> <laughs> Crypt of Everflame, Crypt of the Everflame, Slave Pits of Absalom. Some uh, interesting games that are going to be played. Yeah. Well, the um, to get back, I guess, to Batman versus Superman while you're reading. Yeah. <laughs> um, I listened and read about seven or eight reviews and... Most of them were like, yeah, it's it's all bad. It happens a lot when you when you whore out the movie for as long and as hard as they have prior to the movie coming out. They they're building expectations up so high. And we all know these two characters pretty well. I mean, they've been thrown in front of everyone so, alive their entire life. They're so well known. I don't alive. know how you miss the execution <laughs> on this movie. You, you know, I, I well, I mean, can, we can't judge it. We haven't seen it. Maybe people don't like it because it wasn't flashy enough, but it has a great story, and we'll like it. We don't know. Well, the, the one of the gripes, and we were talking about this before the before the show. You were off doing something else. I was on a phone call, frolicking. I don't know what you're doing. Frolicking on a phone call. <laughs> frolicking. <laughs> For but I, I, I think I sort of came to realize what I didn't like about Henry Cavill's Superman and that he was like a really mopey, broody Superman. And that's just not that's not that character to me. That's Batman. Well, he was learning to be Superman. Yeah, but it's, just, it's like. Yeah, what am I fan? I yeah. Mean, I'm not a huge fan of Superman. Like growing up, I used to watch. I had, I had VS, VS8. Uh, can't talk. <laughs> VHS. Is, you remember the VHS I had of Superman? There's the old like, like the first Superman color cartoon because that was the only ones we could get. Nope. And I would watch him, and <laughs> Neil, Neil would hate it because I'd wake up and I'd be watching, it and he'd come in. And he's like, "I'm not watching this shit." And I'm just like, <laughs> "I'm already here." And then we end up watching something else. But I mean, those are my, <laughs> those are my favorite. And then I learned of Batman, and I was like, "He could kick Superman's ass." I like, I I don't think I don't think Batman's a real person. He can't hurt Superman. Superman's got powers. Batman has his, a car and a lot of money. Mm-hmm. But it's like I, I, you would think Superman would find some joy in knowing they're like, oh, he's humans. I could just kill them all. 
Yeah. I could like I, I could be the AI and just make the decision like, ah, I've got laser eyes. I can kill them all. Yeah. See, I was talking to Terry and uh, and Ed about uh, the Superman Batman thing because they both are like, no, Superman can just kill him. And I was like, you're only taking the powers. If you look at the powers of uh, a rich guy that just buys a bunch of shit that makes him be able to do things, right? Versus the alien that can shoot shit out of his eyes. Yeah. If you look just the powers, Superman's always going to win. They they literally made him invincible and he can kill anything really quickly okay but when you put his moral compass into it he can never win because he's a pussy you know that's that's a lot like daredevil most i think both y'all seen season one nope oh yes one yeah everyone knows that he he is refuses to kill yeah um well that seems to be the the it's stupid driver for every hero that's superheroes in general and that's why in the latest one, he's the third best person on the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's I why mean, I'm that, wearing the Punisher side. <laughs> that raises an interesting Daredevil question side. that almost every superhero property is is posing right now. It's it's the chicken and the egg. What comes first, the hero, the costumed hero, or the villain that creates the hero? Which, which creates which one? Which one's the chicken and which one's the egg? I'm yeah. pretty sure it's when the parents die. That's what creates it. Yeah, parents dying. <laughs> parents dying. <laughs> who, who became the orphan first? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you want your kids to be superhero, you know what you got to do. And the rest of it is just Norman Bates. It's just we all go a little mad sometimes. The, the way I see that, that the whole what comes first, villain or superhero, is is I think the superhero comes first for one reason. If you're not a villain and you have the powers of a superhero, you're a fucking hero for not killing all of us. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's that's the way I sum like, that. Where's one my up. parade? No one's singing my song, <laughs> right? I ain't killed nobody yet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then when someone tries to, if they help, that's even better. But the fact that he's been here for this long and we're all still alive, <laughs> motherfucking hero in my books. <laughs> <laughs> Although he could kill a few of them. <laughs> yeah. There are some people yeah, I don't like. like. <laughs> but you imagine, like, uh, you imagine the super villain just sitting at home and he just sees the news that night. And he's like, "Oh, we can put on costumes now. Oh, I'm going out tonight, <laughs> snapping everybody's neck." Yeah, you know, like Batman. That's that's really kind of the way you can look at it. Real superhero versus Playboy superhero. Yeah. Um. Well, Batman from the start. Well, I mean, let's go back to the Michael Keaton Batman from the start. He had the bat suit. Yeah, see, from the start, yeah, but, but like, he doesn't have powers. Like, like he has to decide, I need to make a suit to do things. Whereas, like, Thor or Superman, like, do I want to kill ever? Or do I want to just turn my laser eyes on? Or do yeah. I want lightning to do kill? Do I want to help them or do I want exactly. to kill them? So, like, I mean, I could torture maybe a little bit and then decide? I don't know. So, in the case of Batman or Iron Man, I think the villain comes first. Because there's no need for them to be that. They're they're yeah. turning themselves well, in into Iron something Man, else. Yeah, Iron Man, the the origin story, the cave, everything else. Like, yeah, he had to yeah. create the suit to, to get, get out. out of that situation. Yeah. Captain yeah. America, Nazis. Yeah. So I mean, well, like, he, yeah, the villains. He, the reason he did it is because he was tired of being picked on. Like the the real reason. Well, why he uh, volunteered for the yeah. experiment? Yeah. And he's just like, I don't want to be a bitch anymore. You go ahead and inject me. Yeah, Steve Rogers like, I'm tiny. Everyone keeps punching me in the face. I'm never going to get any pussy. <laughs> this The CGI body they put my massive head on is yeah. so small. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then you know, he takes a shot, and then he's like so noble. It's like, no, he wanted to get laid. That's <laughs> why he he's did like, that. He's like, well, well, no, no, he wanted me. to go and be in the military with his friend. He didn't want to be picked on, but it wasn't about getting pussy. Steve Rogers trying to explain, like the real Steve Rogers, the, re- the, the real the real story. He's like, look, inject me with a freaking serum. Look, I had the body of a seven year old ahead of an eighteen year old. The only person that's going to want to fuck me is a priest. Let's get this going. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I either give me this or a robe. I'm gonna be an altar boy. I mean, it's my only two options. But I guess that's the way I would break it up. Is is you do have? Do you heroes. know how Scarlett Johansson is going to look like thirty years from now, <laughs> dude? Let's get on this, man. Uh, her CGI is going to look pretty good. Technically, it'd be more than thirty years ago. 30 yeah, years. thirty of math. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, if he's saying how cute she's going to be, it's like that's kind of creepy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> think about it. Because well, okay, what, if, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> let's go down the rabbit hole. So, oh god. If you have the body of like a twelve year old and This is bad. I know. He's just gonna go back. He's like trying not to sound bad. That's <laughs> you see him thinking he's like, 
Nope, can't say it that way. That's horrible. If it, um, okay, if you have the body of a twelve year old, but the the brain and the sex drive of let's say anything from an eighteen to a twenty one year old, you're gonna beat off. <laughs> <laughs> what what ca- what realm does that put you in? You know, how, how old are you though? How well, yeah, but you like like I said, how old was Steve Rogers when you joined? It was like let's just say how 18. old do you got to be to join the military? Isn't it? Eight, well, well, back, back then, what, back 16 or 17? Like, yeah, I want to say it was like 17 right. or something. I was like, really yeah, I, think, I think you could talk him into it at 14. <laughs> yeah, your, your dad <laughs> like, could sign you up I, at 12. I can hold a gun. <laughs> All right, you're in. <laughs> you're from Nevada? Like real close to the, to the nuclear test range? <laughs> Get in there, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How old are you, seven? All right, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like what, what, what does that put you in, you know? Yeah, I had no clue where you were going to go with that 12-year-old body start. I'm like, all right. I, I think Let's he wanted what... to go somewhere else, and he felt that that was the only safe no, no, way to that run was, with it. No, that no, was, that was where I was going to go with it. I just didn't know how to phrase it at first. Like, yeah. I uh, can see a lot of bad ways to phrase that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you thought about that. This, this could have been edited for the first time in a while. Oh, they're uh, from three to seven. They're doing Firefly the board game at MadCon. I still haven't played mine. Yeah, I think we should do that next week on the podcast. Let's play Firefly. <sighs> no, it's going to be a long one. Someone has to know <laughs> how to play it before we can play it. That's the fun part. It's going to take like twenty or thirty minutes just to separate cards and stuff out. Yeah. So we're murder on the throaty mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Say yeah. one more again. <laughs> murder on the throaty mermaid. <laughs> Levels one through five. It's a Pathfinder RPG. Yeah. Ooh. Only punchline. Only punchline. Sperm whales. Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I want to see if I want to buy that game, but like, I don't want that in my <laughs> closet. I do. <laughs> <laughs> nope. mm. Oh wow! Well, you didn't have a, a crush on the Little Mermaid when you were a kid. Not in our throat. That's why I like seafood so much. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, your soundboard would have kicked in right there. Yeah, it would have. We need an underwater drum roll. But up tish. No, underwater. <laughs> I don't see uh, the Steve Jackson games on the on the calendar. But we know there's going to be Steve Jackson games. We do, no. Yeah. They well, probably just make an assumption. They're like, yeah, there's going to be them doing that stuff over there. Well, I don't know which one I clicked on. I may have clicked on board games, and all theirs aren't board games. <coughs> what was the um what is the name of this thing? Magcon? No, nah, I want to I want to talk about this. We're an hour in, so I want to talk about this before we get out of here, but um there was a box Spielberg Peter What's Jackson. In the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What the hell is the name of this thing called? The screening room. Is that what it's called? You're the one telling us. <laughs> <laughs> Use your words. So it's a service that is being backed by J.J. Abrams, Steven Spielberg, Peter Jackson, a bunch of other guys. And it's like a set-top box. You pay a subscription fee. And on top of the, uh, the, on top of the subscription fee, you pay per movie, but you get to see movies the day they're released in theaters. Yeah, I've heard something about this. Yeah. So it seems it's, um, it's $150 for the box and then $50 for each movie. 50 50. How many people can you invite over to watch it? It seems to be unlimited. Can you copy it? It seems to be no. Can you pay to have How can you not copy it? it? You, it they really can't. There's ways. Like, we, we got ways, son. <laughs> can you, can you charge people like, to come watch so it? So it's a set-top box with an HDMI port. Yeah. And Done. you can plug that into something. But remember, like, there's... Done. And then plug that into something called a TV. At first, it's going to be annoying because there's always there's always some sort of digital scramble thing. They used to do it on VHS. You couldn't record certain things. There'd be like a little... Yeah. Yeah, there's always ways to scramble it, but... There's always ways to unscramble there's it. There's always ways to unscramble it. The only if thing you, you can't unscramble people to is an unscramble egg. your video, put a big penis, like, over it. Like, a, a background of a penis. Yeah, but some people are going to want that version. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, it's only if you pirate it. So, like, you're, oh, I, I got this movie for you, Grandma. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, that, that would be that really awesome. Like, you're not going to share that with your family. Be like, <laughs> you know, your grandmother's like, I really want to see the new uh, what, what, Chronicles of Narnia or something like that. And you're like, got it. <laughs> well, imagine that, that that's like the new. So certain games, if you pirated them, 
they would break in a certain spectacular way sometimes. Like, they're, like I, I can't remember what game it was. Several games have done this. But like one game would have it to where you get to the end and the game would just reboot. Another game would have it to where you would get to a certain level and it's like several hours into the game and then you would get you would encounter an unstoppable villain. And it, one of them I saw was like this spider scorpion thing that was impossibly fast, had an infinite armor, you could never kill it, and it would kill you always and reset your game. So nice. video game this people have been screwed really, with pirates for a really long time the beginning of that. in yeah, really but creative ways. You just know what value to put in the right place to make it work right. It's ones and zeros, Chad. Ones and zeros. I understand. I understand. But could that be like the new ant? Like you have like the director's cut of the movie. You, now you have like the new anti-pirate cut, which is just silly. Yeah, but then you're going to need to then download you're gonna two have people copies. Want to pirate it to watch yeah, that? You're going to have it's yeah. basically like a special edition that people have to pay for at that point. Because then we download or it, you that could just, version. And it'd be the awesome. Real one. It'd be awesome. Imagine like episode Star Wars episode seven, just Pulp Fiction, where it's all out of order. Or, or like you're watching a movie with you know the lovely Megan Fox in it, and at like 16 minutes in, Adam Sandler's face shows up on her body for the rest of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 dude, that's no. a paycheck. He'll do it. No, 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 that's I'm, a paycheck. He'll no, do it. I know he would. Even better, he just replaces her completely. Like he actually <laughs> acts in the scenes as well. <laughs> His body, her face. <laughs> they they redo the scenes twice just so it's like you got to watch yeah. Adam Sandler run away from robots in slow motion. <laughs> See, I would download that. I got, that would be you. There'd just be two copies of everything from now on. Yeah, because you, you're not stopping the real copy from getting out there. Still, you're just adding one sooner. That's like a comedic value, and then you get the real one later. Yeah. So it just gives you enough spoilers to run it for everyone else that will go to the theater and pay for it. That'd be funny. It'd be great. But I think it's a great idea. We should try it. Yeah, I just don't like for that amount of money and that investment. What? I just I, I can go around the corner to Silverado and go to the theater. So yeah, my question though, can you sell tickets? Can like if you can have as many people view it and you're having a, a party at your house, can everyone have to pay like ten bucks? Uh, yeah, you, you could run just like you do like so home you could technically like make money off of it. No, if you start making money off of it, it's a commercial enterprise. Yeah, it's for personal public or private yeah. viewing. But only. you can split the cost. I mean, like there's the home rules. Home rules. You know, that's what I'm saying is you can make. You're money not charging them. admission for people to come over to watch UFC. No. You're just saying like, hey, you're don't be a them, dick. You're selling them an empty cup for five dollars. Yeah, <laughs> but still, it's like it's like it's like friendship karma. Like, don't be a dick. Give me a couple bucks. Bring some you know? nachos, bitch. Yeah, bring bring something. You know, I'm just thinking. You know, you get the really big sheet, a projector, and um, well, see, you people, you people pay that much to watch people slap each other in the face. Who does? Y'all, you people. What do we mean, you people? The UFC people sitting at the God. table. You people. <laughs> the other two people in the room pay that much money for a paper. You hear that? He's calling us you people. Yeah, you I people. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's kind of what I would compare it to is is that pay-per-view charge. Regions. Like, you, you invite how many people over to watch a fight? Anyone that wants to go and watch the fight. Or people who just want to drink beer and make fun of people watching the fight. You never come. I've came twice. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Only twice. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean there it was. Whatever, however you would consider pay per view is the same concept with this. And unless it forces you to like hook it up to your connect. And it's like, nah, yeah, dog, that you got three too many people. <laughs> oh, man. Ask three people to leave before your movie will play. Yeah, that's that's kind of what's got me heavy on the anti Xbox, anti Microsoft game. Just just for that. Just for yeah. that patent. It's like you're kinda of, you're kind of a dick for patent for coming out with that. Yeah. Doing for what? The connect? Yeah, so the Microsoft they, they patented um a method of scanning a room, seeing how many people are in there to lock or unlock certain content. No, I'm glad they patented that. It means well, only have to boycott one company. Well, they can license it to other companies. Well, they're not gonna because Sony was interested. There's a lot of other companies that were interested in like, hey, we should do this right now. Oh yeah, you got to put a camera in my living room to see how many people are there. I'll never use your product. Yeah, that's yeah. you don't get eyes into my house, bitches. Yeah, see, I, I I would just put like three D print like something that they can only see this much of the room. Be like, <laughs> mystery science theater. That oh shit. no, actually, three D print <laughs> a tiny room. You put the connect in a different room <laughs> and put like three cardboard cutouts. <laughs> Meanwhile, you've got fifty people in your living room. <laughs> well, no, just three D three D print like the cube right there that you printed me, right? The little calibration cube. Yeah, print yeah. one that's hollow and put like a tiny little room in it and just set it in front of the connect. <laughs> <laughs> that way, they're just like. 
Man, no one's in this room. You're just going to play it to an empty room? Fine. And then the you AI. Need, you need a shoebox and three Barbies to make this work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then, then most definitely the AI in the background's going, mm. I got to kill these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're, you're getting put on a list. <laughs> That's what it is. They're already keeping a list somewhere. There's a database of people in the order they're going to be massacred. And I just hope I'm not close to someone that's higher up on the list than me because they might miss. Or my, you know what? All or three, out of convenience. Guys. Why not? Out of convenience. They're yeah. just like, well, I mean, you're 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 kind of low on the list. You're really fucking high on the list. You know, they're all three here. Although I assume yeah. they the, they would do it the way the Leviathans did it in Supernatural. They're just going to give us a bunch of food with drugs in it, and we just eat and get fat, and then they just turn us into whatever fuel they need. They're going to so, dumb us down. It's kind of already they, in motion. Like they they yeah. need to do that? No. They just need to wait a few years and we'll do it to ourselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone's seen Wally? No. You should have. No. Wally. 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 Harry said it. Have it was, it was a lot like Big Hero 6. The, well, I still haven't seen that one. You haven't seen that? It's great. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It looks like a bunch of Ziploc bags taped together and aired up. <laughs> <laughs> like with a little bit of like uh, flour in it. Like, yeah, I don't know about that. Well, I, it, the idea of uh, of Garcia going to a con as as Big Hero Six was pretty funny, <laughs> slightly scary. <laughs> Until I encountered the horror that was the latex safe puff marshmallow man in the bathroom at the back of Comic Palooza. I did not run into that in the bathroom. Oh, it was frightening. I Just can what, imagine. See, like those kind of suits kind of suck because you got to go to the bathroom bad. It, you can't take that off quick, and they don't have flaps. Like, well, it was like I'm it, looking for comfy pants as the butt flap for my like convenience. I'm not gonna put something on more difficult. Well, I, I I open the door and here is this very large, very rubbery Stay Puft Stay Puff Marshmallow Man trying to squeak his way through the door frame. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, oh, this is bad. There's there's only one exit to this place. This is real bad. See that's. <laughs> It was, it, was he going in or going out? He was going. He was. He was coming in the bathroom. I was trying to exit. I'm like, oh no. Uh, see, see, like if, it would be a better scenario if like you just run. Like if you hit him, he'll run move. at him. Yeah. You just you know if 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 y'all are both trying to go in, you can help him through, but you know no one's gonna help him out. So then you go eat some really 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 messed up Mexican food <laughs> that way you can just. <laughs> hey buddy, you want out? Give me a minute. But yeah, it was it was it was scary because there was just the hum of the fan that was keeping his suit inflated. <laughs> <laughs> and him trying to squeak through the bathroom in this rubber thing. Like, every step was like... Sh- <laughs> it, w- it was... Uh, How'd it, it go w- again? <laughs> I, 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 would, I would use the handicap stall if I saw that man coming. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, wing in there yeah. real quick and be uh, like... I was take done. Me a minute. Uh, well, I did... Had, I had to back into a stall, and I did close the door. Like, no... <laughs> Shutting off all avenues of access, bud. And uh, you didn't want half of them like, coming into your area because I thought it was hilarious that the bathroom you go because every, every other bathroom was cram packed. There was a line to get in every other bathroom. I was like, oh, I kind of know the layout of this place. I'm just go, going to go to the back, back hallway. Yeah, okay. that back hallway is fine. And uh, I go in there, and then like the only other person that finds this bathroom <laughs> is this guy. And the bathroom, it's like one of the smallest <laughs> bathrooms at GRB. And he he was. The suit was big enough to where, even though he got when he got through the door frame, when he turned, there still wasn't enough room between the sink and the stall. So he's like <laughs> squeaking his way down the entire row of stalls, oh, <laughs> struggling great. against, like, just, like <laughs> trying to struggle his way through to the end. See, that's when you just like put the running water on and be like, "Hope you don't have to pee." <laughs> <laughs> but still, like it looked like like this looked like it, it was. First of all, it was it was a significant effort just to get into the bathroom. And there isn't, like, all the partitions between the urinals are still too narrow. The doors to get into even, like, the handicap stall, because, like, ADA rules, the door to get into the bathroom area is still the same width as the door to get into the handicap stall. So you're kind of just screwed either way. (laughs) Yeah. See, why didn't he just, like, flip the switch, deflate, do the thing, step outside, inflate? Not that hard. Hadn't seen Big Hero 6 yet. Yeah. It kind of goes that way. Oh, he does that in Big Hero Six. Um, well, it, it took him six movies if to they, realize he could do that. <laughs> if they did that in the movie, but he can't figure it out, and he's wearing the costume, he's retarded because he's had to have seen the uh, movie if he's dressed up at it. Well, it's like well, the naming scheme for Big Hero Six. It's all like Super Eight. There wasn't seven of them that came before that. It was just like, hey, it's a name. You didn't see Super Six. Super Six. 
No? Okay. Yeah, I thought it was like the sixth movie yeah. for that big hero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that I don't I don't watch kid shows, so I'm just like, well, that fat thing's on the screen again. <laughs> like, I'm fairly certain there's like 95 Minion movies at this point because they come everywhere. The Minions are fantastic, though. Uh, minions are stupid. I want to slap them all. I, I think it's I, I want to put them funny. on the end of a stick and roast them like a marshmallow. I'm going camping this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I still have some marshmallows if you need them. <laughs> I want to find out where those big ones were. I have some. The big, big ones? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to have to take those. Because mm-hmm. marshmallows don't go bad, right? I don't know. Twinkies don't. Actually, Twinkies only have a two-month shelf life. I thought a Twinkies would eventually liquefy. Like, they just a, sort a, of... A Twinkies? A, twi- a Twinkies. I think we need a to twinkies. make a time capsule. <laughs> when are we going to dig it? Put in? marshmallows? No. Mm-hmm. Twinkies? <laughs> like, all the foods we think are supposed to last X amount of time. Gobstoppers. Just bury them in the backyard and come back X number of years later and who's, eat Whose backyard? Dane's house is the newest, isn't it? He's about to redo his backyard. Those can get dig up last Exactly. Year. That's the best time to do it. Well, we got to do it next year. Why next year? That's when he's doing his backyard. Oh. We do it this year. He's going to dig it up next year. It's not his easement. <laughs> <laughs> I got shit in my pantry that long. True. Twinkies haven't lasted that long, I'll tell you that much. In my pantry? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I'm not a big Twinkie person. There was a Twinkie maker in this house for like two years. And I there were 95 churro makers, and I still have not yet got a goddamn churro. Oh, see, I gave <laughs> one to Jason. He brought me churros. He just he was supposed to bring them to me once a month, and he didn't fulfill. I have a churro maker. You want one? I've, I've brought, he hasn't fulfilled I've you brought with cookies. his churros. Nope. <laughs> I've brought cookies to this podcast on several occasions. And uh, yeah, I, I think churros are in order are the only appropriate churros and ice cream. Payment. Okay, so I will, I'll give you a churro maker, and you can have fun with that. And some of that corn with mayonnaise and parmesan and stuff on it. What? You you don't have Mexican corn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go to Fiesta, get the corn. Uh, they essentially get corn on the cob, and then they either put mayonnaise or some people will use butter. other stuff, butter. Uh, most of them are mayonnaise, and then they roll it in Parmesan cheese to have the mayonnaise. Essentially, gets the cheese to stick, um, and then they put cayenne or chili powder and stuff all over it. And, you and eat some it. usually like green onions or parsley or something like yeah. that. They'll randomly Parmesan, throw in I'm it. down with mayonnaise. No, that sounds you don't horrible. like the mayo. I like mayonnaise. I just don't like mayonnaise on corn with Parmesan cheese. Have you tried it? No, and I don't intend to. That sounds disgusting. You it's, can never it's be a delicious. Mexican. There's a place called the Happy Corn. <laughs> it's really good. Where's the Happy Corn? Aldi and Melrout. Oh, that's a long ways away. Aldi and Melrout and what? Uh, about half a mile in from 59. Been much better. No, it's it like, was on that's Corn Street. My old neighborhood. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Then how have you ever had the Happy Corn? Because there were just some places you didn't go. Yeah, if you don't know Spanish, they take a really long time to bring you your food. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, because I used to get nachos there. They have really, really good, like, fajita nachos. Yeah. And, A, they don't want to let you know they know what you're saying when you speak in English. Mm-hmm. And, B, it doesn't come out nearly as good as if you if, if you order in Spanish. And if so you the try food's to order... So better. Yeah. If you order in broken English, broken Spanish, it's better than if you just order in English. So I just tried and made them laugh every time, <laughs> and my food got better. So what do you think? What do you think it would it would happen if I just handed them the phone and someone told them I ordered Spanish? I I have uh, I have wanted to do that a few times. I, I you know the taco place I took you to? Yeah. So the like the second time I went there, um, the only had a Spanish speaking waitress, and I was like, I don't even remember what I ordered there. So um, I call her sister in law at like midnight. I was like, <laughs> Hey. She's like, yeah, I was like, I'm at that taco place. Can you order that thing I like? <laughs> That's so wrong. It was great. That's so yeah, wrong. I, I usually get at least a little bit of a chuckle when I say the only thing I know in Spanish at like a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. See, I can order in Spanish now, but they, they get a good laugh when I order my tacos mixtos. Um, I order it, but then I go tacos mixtos el gringo because I want cheese on the side. Yeah, I just I look at him very confused and go, "Estas tortillas son mis pantalones." One day they're gonna bring you some tortilla pants, yeah, and I will wear them uh, in, unless they're <laughs> crunchy. That's not gonna feel good. No, just imagine a crunchy. Yeah, that's yeah. Just imagine that warmth. Oh, it could be hot right out of the grease. You're gonna mm-hmm. burn your nuts. 
Oh, we're talking fried tortillas? Yeah. They're going to make it uncomfortable if they're going to make him tortilla pants. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm thinking like a decent, like, like armor. A, a nice, fresh flour tortilla. Well, the way I would do it that's is, a, that's is a sleeping bag. I would take a stack of, of Lupe tortilla tortillas oh. Oh, and yeah. stack them up next to you and drill a leg-sized <laughs> hole down. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's the pants you would be wearing <laughs> if I were to take that order. <laughs> then the the hole I cut out is what I would serve the restaurant for the night because those tortillas yeah, are yeah, massive. Yeah. And we're just like, oh, y'all change your tortillas. Sure. You're yelling at the rest of the rest at the rest of the restaurant. You're like, you're eating my pants holes. <laughs> Just uh, walking around, walking around the restaurant. You're eating my pants holes. I, yeah. I kind of like, I think we should, you know, because their tortillas aren't cheap when you just buy tortillas. Yeah. And we're going to eat a lot of them. But we should do a GoFundMe. Uh, we can do day-old tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> they they won't have enough. How many day-olds are How many gonna... Lupe tortillas are there in a in a in driving distance? Uh-huh. Just and one right outside my neighborhood. I think I think we need to make some Lupe tortilla pants. I think we should. I, we can use like cinnamon honey for the the bonding ingredient <laughs> in between so they stick together. Oh, uh, ant sopa pants. Pia pants. Ant pants. <laughs> talking, to, talking to your girlfriend like, baby, baby, <laughs> eat me out of these pants real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pee. I gotta pee. <laughs> just, just a hole. That's all I need. <laughs> mm. I think it should. I think we should end that there. I go for it. <laughs> so, anything play that else? funky music, go ahead, boy. We're just gonna close it. Good. Y'all had good. Good night, everybody. Eat me out of these pants. <laughs> it's sticky. <laughs> <laughs>